I figured he was going to ask me for some change, but apparently the man had something more profound to say. I tried to ignore him, but he was persistent and signaled me to take off my headphones. I put down my cards, took off my headphones, and gave the bum my complete attention. You, it's you. You, you know who you are? He excitedly asked. Who? I humored him. You're 8 Mile. You know, the rapper. He acted like I really was Eminem. Maybe he thought I was. He reeked of booze and was carrying a ukulele. You know, the part when he's on the bus learning the raps? He said the raps like it was some kind of secret language. <laughs> yes, yes, I know the scene. Learning the raps, I told him. I was initially offended by his opinion and got off the bus upset. I wasn't a white rapper from Detroit. I wasn't listening to Eminem. I was listening to Spanish opera. What did this guy see in me? Did he think I was poor? I was a University of Texas student, close to graduation. When I got to campus, I stood in front of the clock tower and looked around. It was during the middle of a class change, and I took in the whole scene. There was a group of fraternity guys and sorority girls hanging out on the stairs. Everyone was smiling, laughing, and having a grand time. They were dressed fashionably in that season's clothes that I was too poor to even know the name of. Some jocks greeted each other with high fives and fist bumps. None of them looked in my direction, but they acted as if they were being watched with melodramatic facial expressions and laughter. Every inch of every pastel polo had been thought out to match their khaki shorts and designer sandals. I noticed how every hair on every head was impeccably combed, and I started to give myself much more credit than before.